Yes guys, so there goes my boys. Well, actually JJ, they're home from school today. JJ, I'm um, at a cough and Chummy school was closed today. He had, they had a staff development day, so this is it guys. So this is what they're doing. Chummy, sit on the floor with JJ. Chummy, Chummy, sit on the floor with JJ. Play with JJ on the floor. What happened? You kissing your brother? Show me. Oh, you giving him love? You love your brother? Huh? Mommy? Mm hmm What happened, JJ? Huh? What happened? Okay. Okay, Chum, you killing him with kisses, huh? Zion? Zion, he give you a lot of love. Ah, Papa, look at that. Huh? Okay, Chummy, let him go play. I mean, go sit on the floor and play with JJ. Sit down. Sit down for me. Just sit down. You have to relax. Sit down. I don't want that toy to fall on your feet. Sit down. Okay. JJ, you playing? Yes. Yeah. Look at me. Huh? Look. Yeah. What happened, JJ? Show me what is that toy? Yeah, who gave that? Who gave that to you? Daddy. Daddy bought that for you? Mommy. Yes, JJ. Mommy. Someone my He did what? I want have this first. Okay, sit down. You got to share, okay? You mu you guys must share, okay? okay? You have to share. Sit on the floor, Z um, JJ, because the toy... No, he's on the Mickey Mouse bed. Huh? You looking at them, Zion? Yes. Daddy. Daddy. Everybody want to go kiss him. Go ahead. Give your brother a kiss. Not on his face. Uh, not on his mouth, I mean. On his lips. Okay. All right. You got to sit down. JJ, be careful you fall on him, okay? They love their brother, guys. You can't even look at this. These, these, these children are my world, guys. You see my, my life revolve around them. If they're not okay, I'm not okay. So, put it on the floor, JJ. You can't pick that toy up. It's very heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy. Huh? Huh? You laying down next to Zay um Zion? Show me. He doesn't know to hold that toy yet. I gotta get him some baby toys, okay? Okay, Chummy. He got it. I gave it to him. Huh? You gave it to him. He doesn't know to hold it. No, no, you both of you. Are, okay, we we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Chummy, JJ, let me have that for Chummy. Give that to me. Here, play with those on the floor. So yes, guys. So there goes my boys. You know, just you know, playing. So it's me and them today, guys. So. It's going to be interesting today. Hi, right, guys. I'm giving baby Z a bottle. I'm feeling stuffy, guys. I'm not feeling so good. I'm trying not to breathe on him. Yes, guys. Bro. I'm so, I want to talk to you guys about something. Anyway, I was very upset. You know, I'm explaining to you guys. It's something that happened to me as per the situation that was taking place on YouTube. I got a phone call yesterday from... My baby's father, one of his family members. When the phone rang, I didn't want to pick it up. But, you know, I said, let me just give it a shot. Sorry. Because everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So, I, you know, I'm very polite. I answer very polite. The person wants to know what's going on with the situation. I know they already know about the situation. But they just want to hear it from me. So, I began to explain to them my side of the story but as somewhere down the line i had to ask why did you really call me because you hear your side you believed it so you just calling me to upset me and get me get me aggravated so 
they're upset because I made my apology video and I call out this young lady's name. But fair enough, she placed herself on my YouTube. She didn't need to place herself on my YouTube. If there's an issue and she needs to say something, she could ask him and then he get it to me. But this is her motive was wrong. So because I turn her negative and put it into a positive and explain her behavior on my channel is a problem. Did you did they tell her why did you go on her channel? No, but they're coming at me. So anyway, I'm there. Whatever I want when it comes to certain decision so let it be so if i have my kids on youtube and i do not want them on instagram or facebook or whatever it's my choice so that's what i want so it shouldn't be a problem well you have the baby on youtube but you don't want him to be on instagram and stuff so what it's that's what i want so anyway she's there talking talking and i'm like Okay, I see the conversation ain't getting nowhere. And next thing I know, I heard somebody else came in on the phone call. It's like they were there listening the whole time. La Mia, La Mia, and I'm like, who are you? Don't worry about who, don't worry about who the F I am. You this, you that. I said, excuse me, if you're going to address me, you need to identify yourself. You're a home wrecker. You're a whore. You need to get out of here with your fatherless kids and all these disrespectful things. And I'm like, excuse me, when you start attacking my children, that's where my defensive mode come in. I'll dare you. First of all, I am no home wrecker. There has to be a home for me to wreck. There was no, no home then. There ain't going to be no home after. So quit lying to yourselves. Okay? I did not go into anybody's household. So these issues you guys are having with me, they need to go take it up with him because he can fix that, not me. You understand? So, so now I'm there. I feel very ganged up on. I feel very disrespected. This person call me and have these people on the phone. That's what you call an entrapment. Entrapment when you lowered somebody to be devoured and de de be disrespected by somebody else They can't call me on the, their own because how did you get her number? So you call me and set up this phone call for these people to disrespect me. That's not nice Not knowing I don't I don't tolerate nonsense If you're gonna come out your face with nasty stuff, I'm gonna have to answer you with my unclean vocabulary You understand what I'm saying? And these are the behavior or stuff like this I did not want on my channel. So they placed themselves on my channel disrespecting my channel so now i have to describe these things i was very upset because i'm like how dare her do this to me this is somebody i knew never liked me because i was told this person don't like me so that motive right there confirmed to me your real actual mo motive towards me i wasn't gonna carry on with that nonsense because i'm not gonna sit there and carry on on a phone call that you set up to sit there and have people call call me acting like you're genuine and you're not and have people disrespecting me and calling out my kids name when my kids have nothing to do with the situation and no i was going to entertain that so i said what to say and i hanged up and i called him immediately and he was shocked he did not know i explained to him that his family member called me but based on the family member he was shocked he's like are you sure let me call you back and he called me back are you sure and i'm like yes yeah. so then when he called me back, his family member is really the family member that called me. But the other person who I thought was on the phone, he said he wasn't. But I do not care. They lying. Because I know when what's a three when somebody's calling you three-way and somebody else is in the room. When a person is in the room, the room, whether they're in a car or whatever, it echoes. When there's somebody ah. on the line, you hear them. Because throughout this whole time, this person disrespecting me and calling me out my name, she disappeared off the phone call completely. So you set me up to be disrespected. And how can I respect a person like that that set me up like that? This is somebody I never did nothing to. So how can you do that? So when he called me back, he says to me, it's not who you taught. It's the friend of the aider that she tell her about me and she's upset. Is that so? Is that a normal behavior? This girl sit there and discuss me to you, her lies, 
you never met me a day in your life. She painted a picture of me to you guys. And you so hostile towards me and I never did nothing to you, really? So who's, who's being disrespectful here? Who is looking like the, the fools right here? You guys are. So is that so you on the job or wherever in the residence of your home or wherever talking about me and calling me, disrespecting me? I'm not, I'm the, so, so I'm important to you guys that you on your job doing these things or wherever you guys are. This is an issue you want to take on the job really you know so i guess what he got you know it was no three-way call it was no other family member it was a friend it doesn't matter family or friend you set me up to be disrespected and you allow these things to happen to me and that's that so i do not care what nobody wants to say as i told his family member from this day forward i don't want nothing to do with you i lost all respect for you because i have family members that would not do that unless I say so. This this is what happened, guys. This is what usually happened to me. This young lady, she start trouble. And when she does, she have a bunch of people calling my phone. A bunch of people calling my phone. Why you have them calling me? You know, and they're so stupid. Why would you put yourself in a situation like that? You picking up people nonsense on your head. Calling somebody who has nothing to do with the situation. Like, not even a problem. The problem is always directing you to me. You know, I just don't understand that how people can be so stupid. So they're upset because I call this person out in her name. But you place yourself on my channel. It's not like I come on YouTube and say, well, such and such and such did this. She put herself on my YouTube, disrespecting my channel and having an argument with a minor. And this is supposed to be an adult. So I put up my apology video based on my daughter's behavior and for her behavior, and they're mad about that. So I guess they're going to have to stay mad. They're going to have to stay mad. At the end of the day, I do not bother nobody. I'm not a problem to anybody. I stay in my house. I do not go anywhere, guys, unless I have to take my kids to school. I haven't gone back to work yet, but I bother nobody. I stay to myself. So probably by now. They already pointed everybody towards my channel so they could come and look and snoop around and have their opinion. That's fine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But look and keep your comments to yourself. Do not write me. Do not say nothing to me unless you're being genuine. I know these things is happening, but do I care? No. I do not care. You understand what I'm saying? Because she should have never came on my channel. And then this person, I have to explain who she is. So this person is upset with me, upset with her. Because she brought her drama to my channel. They are upset because Chummy's birthday came and they were not there. And because he's in the video, along with everybody else, they're upset about that. Letting, letting it be about the kids. No, it's not about the kids. It's your own selfish needs. And you came on my channel with your nonsense and I'm supposed to allow that? I don't think so. It doesn't go like that. And you want to have this, then this family member call me to be disrespected and call out my children's name by another person. I do not think so. That's not right, guys. It's not. So, and this is the reason why I made this video so you guys can know what's going on. See, they give me footage. They give me vlogs to put on my channel. So they're taking their negative. I'm taking their negative and turn it into positive. And I thank them for that because if not, I mean, I would have my vlog to put up every Sunday because that's the day I'm choosing to put up my vlog. But now they're giving me extra. I, I mean, I'm not sitting on YouTube trying to be this perfect person. But YouTube did not give me no way, shape, or form to come on that network and that disrespectful, nasty, or ratchet. No, they did not. So ever since I started my, my video, I'm not pretending to be no person I'm not. I be respectable. I'm always smiling and laughing at my children. One of the issues they're talking about, I'm exploiting my children to YouTube. How is that? How am I exploiting my children? It's just basic stuff. I'm not selling my children out. There's nothing wrong with that. So because they don't want my kids to be on YouTube, I'm not supposed to put them on YouTube. I can do whatever I want as long as I don't involve anybody else kids in my stuff. That, you don't understand what I'm saying? So that's it, guys. So this is the story of my life. You understand? All I want to be left alone. This lady is, this young lady is creating a scene over what? Go to her and ask her what's the problem. She let it be about YouTube when it's way in depth on that. Any issues you have with me, take it up with him. He is the one 
that brought me in the picture. I didn't find him. He found me. Okay? So why are you fighting a battle with me and I did nothing to you? I want to be left alone. And for all of you guys that's negative with them, please leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered with nobody. I don't bother nobody. Okay? But for all my loyal subscribers who have been supporting my channel, guys, I appreciate your support. Keep watching. And like I said before, I will continue to make my videos for you guys. My respectable, positive videos. And if somebody want to bring a negative to me, I turn it to positive. makes it much better. As always, guys, thanks for watching. It's my pleasure, as always.